despite what my videos may suggest, kestrels aren't the only birds I see on a regular basis. In February and March, before the kestrels really returned in full force, at least four pairs of pigeons have been hanging out and more on the windowsill that the kestrels have chosen as their home. I thought it would be neat to document the pigeon courtship and mating behavior a bit in this video. So for the first pair you can recognize the female based on her white wing feather. And after seeing her sort of standing guard and her mate sitting, barely visible there, I suspected that they might be looking to nest there, which I didn't envision to be very successful because the kestrels might be wanting to have a word with them. But anyway, they were engaging in typical courtship behavior, such as picking at the backs of each other's heads, which I suppose is a hard to reach spot if you're just by yourself. They also did a lot of just hanging out, cleaning themselves while looking at what's happening around them. Here's about a minute of them doing just that. Here you can see the female soliciting food from the male. The female of the second pair I saw was leucistic, which is a genetically caused loss of pigmentation in her feathers. Here her mate sort of aggressively picks at her, which I don't know what that's all about, but she didn't seem too discouraged and returned a short while later. After sort of dancing around each other for a while, the female again solicits food, which in this case leads to mating. A few days later I saw another pair. This time the female seemed to be really hungry, soliciting a lot of food from the male.
So the way that works is that pigeons can produce a sort of milk in their necks that they would usually feed their young. But males use that ability during courtship to demonstrate to the female that they can provide for her and the chicks too. A few hours later they were at it again. Including a lot of head and neck scratching. Finally, the female seemed to be satisfied. So the fourth pair I saw didn't really do anything interesting, but I thought I would show them anyway, because of her rather dark pigmentation, which seemed noteworthy. Another day I also saw a solitary male, probably trying to impress a nearby female by puffing up his neck feathers, although interest didn't seem to materialize too much. Finally, here's another pigeon that seemingly hadn't yet gotten the message that the kestrels are back. So a female kestrel took it upon herself to remind it of that, displaying her plumage in the process. The hastily departing pigeon kicked up a lot of dust. And that's it. I haven't seen any pigeons on that windowsill since, only kestrels, and the pigeons are back on the roof of a building a bit further away in the neighborhood.